Welcome to Flip It Furniture. My name is Amy and in today's video we're going to be making over this tall dresser. I can see just looking at it that this dresser is going to need a lot of repairs so we're going to do a lot of prep work. I can easily see that the top of this dresser is veneer because it is chipping and it's loose on all four corners. As I go around to the drawer fronts they're all pretty much loose almost off completely and a lot of the trim work around the drawers is missing. There's only a few of them left, so I'll definitely have to remove that. But all in all, I think those are pretty easy fixes, and this is a really solid piece. It has good bones, so I'm gonna work on it and give it a great makeover. So let's flip it. I start by using my type on wood glue and I'm just going to glue all those fronts back on. So I just go across and I let the glue slide down and then I'm going to clamp it. I'm going to do that with all the drawers, clamp it and leave it overnight. Then I'm going to go ahead and remove all the hardware. Now that I've glued the veneer fronts, it's the next day and I'm just gonna remove whatever remaining trim is left. So I'm just gonna kinda hammer and chisel it out. And if you ever work on one of these, I just wanna show you that there's these little fine nails. So you wanna be careful and you wanna make sure that you have them all out. I thought I could go ahead and salvage the top by just using some wood glue, but it was pretty damaged, so we're actually going to have to just remove all of the veneer. So I put on a pair of gloves so I don't get slivers in my fingers, and then I hammer and chisel away. There's about two layers of veneer, so I have to go under both of them. And I do this in a way where I just kind of want to stay organized, so I go around the edges first. If I just start pulling it off piece by piece, I'd find that it's harder to get off. So I just go around the edges and try to loosen up the edges first. And then, because the middle is always the hardest, the middle has the mo most glue. So I want to leave that for the last part. Now that I have it really loose on the edges, I'm actually gonna start removing it. I, but I wanna remove it in bigger chunks because I'm in my house, it's really cold outside. I'm in my house and I don't wanna make a huge mess. So I'm gonna try to do this as organized as I can. So it took me about an hour to get most of it off and I have these little pieces that are glued on that won't come off. So I wet a towel and I leave it on there for about two hours and then I go ahead and I start hammering and chiseling back at it. Some people use an iron over their wet towel to heat up the glue underneath, but it wasn't really necessary. It was coming up pretty easy. So now it's mostly cleaned up, but I have a little specks that are still glued on, and I know my sander will just knock them right off, so that's what I'm doing now. After removing veneer with a putty knife and a hammer, there's a couple little dents that I need to fill in, so I'm using Dab's Premium Wood Filler, and I'm just gonna smooth it out. Then I go in with my wood filler on the drawer fronts because there's a lot of chipping veneer and when I remove the trim, some of the veneer came off, so I just need a smooth surface. 
I know that I'm replacing the handles with knobs, so I'm gonna go ahead and drill my holes at this point, and then I'm gonna fill in my other holes with my wood filler. Now I have all this dried wood filler everywhere, so I need to take my drawers back outside and give them a nice smooth sanding. While I have them outside, I'm just gonna take my crud cutter and start to clean the drawer fronts. Once that's done, I go in the house and I clean with crud cutter the entire rest of the base. And I wanted to show you right here that I also clean the insides of the drawers. These are in pretty good condition, so I'm just gonna give them a nice wipe down. After using any furniture cleaner, I always go back and rinse with water because I don't want any cleaner residue left because it'll definitely affect my paint's adhesion. I know that this piece is gonna be a bleeder, so I'm gonna go in and cover the entire piece with two coats of shellac. Shellac has a really, really fast drying time, so I can almost go in with my second coat immediately after I apply my first coat. And I love using my sponge brushes for this because I can sort of just throw them away after. So I decided with all the work that needed to be done on the drawer fronts, I would just cover this with paintable wallpaper. So I open my roll and then I'm gonna mark out where I wanna do my cuts and then I'm just gonna use my scissors and cut it out. Using paintable wallpaper was actually an idea I got from Rochelle. Her channel is Monolane Furniture. She did a video a few months ago on how to apply paintable wallpaper and I had never seen it done before her video. And then I have been seeing a lot of her subscribers in Monolane Furniture Friends Facebook group posting pictures of all of their drawer fronts with the paintable wallpaper. I'm an admin over there in her group and I love seeing everybody. A lot of people are from Australia over there because that's where Rochelle's from. And if you guys wanna check her out, I'm gonna leave the link in the description box because she has so many cool things on her channel and I've learned so much and even from her group. So I'll leave that for you guys. But that is where I got this idea. I'm using Zinzer Sure Grip glue. It's for non-pasted or pre-pasted wallpaper and this one's non-pasted so I don't have to dip it in water or anything like that. We're just gonna, it's so easy. We're just gonna apply the glue to the drawer front and then we're gonna apply the glue to the back of the paper and we're just gonna put it on there. I might have put a little bit too much on this one drawer. You don't really need that much on there. You just need a light covering. Then you just place your wallpaper right over the top of the drawer and it's still adjustable for a while until it dries. You have, you know, it's not like super quick drying time so you have some time to adjust and make sure everything's in its right place. And then I just take a brayer and I go over it because this one I have a lot of glue so I'm gonna kinda squeeze the glue out of the sides. But you wanna make sure that you don't have any air bubbles or anything like that. You want it to be nice and smooth so it stays on forever. <laughs> So what I've learned right here is if you have any excess and you're gonna cut it with a razor blade, wait until it's completely dry. I did it while it was still a little wet and I have these frayed edges. So now it's completely dry and I'm just gonna go in with my sanding block and I'm going to sand those edges. And you don't really have to be super duper careful when you're sanding, you can kind of be a little bit more rough with it. We're not trying to take off the design or anything like that. We're just trying to sand the edges smooth. So now for the fun part, I get to paint. I'm doing Country Chic and the color is Elegance. I'm just giving it a nice stir before I start. I know it's gonna be a little tricky to paint because of the design. It's sort of like the wallpaper, it almost feels like foamy. 
So I want to make sure that I have a nice wet surface so I can get my paint all around. And then I found that this zebra brush, it's the square angled brush, is amazing on this stuff. It's kind of like a detail brush, so it is getting in all the details. Before I did the Zinser, I did one drawer with a regular brush and it was kind of a nightmare. So this just made it so much easier. And I want to show you, if you remember those frayed edges with the paint, you can't even tell. It's completely blended and you would never know that there was any of those edges. And I also do the insides of my drawer, just that little edge. Now I wanted to show you, if you cut too much on your wallpaper, you can just, when it's fully dried, you can use a razor blade. And I wanted to just show you how easy it is to remove the excess. And when I'm done with my razor blade, I just sand the edges nice and smooth. Now I'm going in with the same brush to do the details. And I don't know if it's the brush or what, but it's just so easy to apply. I only needed about two coats of the paint. And then I did a third coat with just a little bit of touch-ups in case I missed any spots. And I did wait a couple of hours in between my coats because I find that if it's still sticky, you know, your paint can pull back up. So I always wait till it's really, really dry. And then for the flat parts, I just went in with my nice flat angular brush. I feel like I'm always showing you guys the first coat and it's so sloppy, but I just wanted to show you how nice it is when you put the second coat on and how much more coverage you get. So I'm just doing my details with the detail brush because it really is and makes it insanely easy. And then I go back in with my flat parts using my flat brush and look at my coverage, it's great. I really like using my water mister with Country Chic. I do believe it's clay-based paint, so it's it feels like a chalky finish, and I just feel like the water mister helps with that even application with no brush strokes, and you know you can move it around a lot easier. So now I've left it overnight and I need to drill my knob holes. So I go in from the inside and I'm just gonna make my holes through the pre-existing hole. And I'm gonna use some knobs I got from Amazon. They're just the really cute glass ones. It'll be like putting jewelry on. <laughs> now I use Verithane's water-based polyurethane in satin. And I went in with my flat brush, which just wasn't cutting it. It wasn't getting in all of the um, details. So I went back with my um, square brush and that worked out really, really well. And I didn't even have to worry about streaks, which was kind of awesome. So then I give the rest of the dresser, the entire dresser got two coats of sealer. I'm not gonna worry about the top being a high traffic area because this dresser is really, really tall. I'm actually in a chair doing this. So I think two coats is just fine. Here we are, all finished. I love the whole wallpaper idea. I think it was really great considering what condition the drawer fronts were in. So I definitely have to give a shout out to everyone at Monolane Furniture Friends. That wallpaper, it was such a good idea. And the top is really smooth and nice, so I'm glad I removed the veneer. I don't know why, but this dresser reminds me of Downton Abbey. <laughs> I feel like it's like in its ballroom gown, and then we just added all the jewelry with the knobs. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like and subscribe button, and I will see you next week.